there's lots of blame to go around for the climate crisis, but there is a special place in hell for the people who deliberately, cynically mislead, confuse and sabotage any possibility of political action. Hello, my name is Susie Orbeck. My name is Neil Mukherjee. I'm Ruth Padel. My name is Polly Stenham. I'm Anushka Gross. My name is Joe Dunthorne. I'm Rachel Edwards. I'm Max Porter. My name is Laleen Paul. I'm Irvin Welsh. I'm Jonathan Porridge. Last year, I spoke at an event about which I care passionately, where Zadie Smith, George Monbiot, Jay Griffiths, Laleen Paul and Caroline Lucas also spoke about the damaging work of the Tufton Street think tanks. Tufton Street is home to organisations that have been deliberately delaying the government's response to the climate emergency. In particular, the organisation formerly known as the Global Warming Policy Foundation, who've just rebranded themselves as Net Zero Watch. A secretive, powerful and climate change denying think tank. An organisation whose sole purpose since 2009 has been to sow doubt and confusion, to undermine the science of climate change. These groups pollute our political discourse by concealing their true identity. They're registered as a charity, which means they don't have to declare their funding sources. At the end of last year's event, three people, Claire Farrell, Rupert Reed, and Jessica Townsend, were arrested for peaceful direct action, drawing attention to this group. They sprayed the words, lies, 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 on the pillars and poured fake blood down the steps of number 55, Tufton Street. The date of their court case is October the 28th. But while they face trial, the climate contrarians have scaled up their lobbying ahead of the Global Climate Summit in Glasgow. We believe at Rice Rebel that the small scale criminal damage was justified by the fact that the inhabitants of the building are literally putting the future of those we love and the whole world at risk by their work. It wants to protect the city of London as global investor in fossil fuels. And I think the wrong people are in the dock. Claire and Rupert and Jessica are on trial for telling the truth. What does a little spray paint matter when the future of this planet is hanging by a thread? The government's own scientists say we've got four years to get this sorted out, otherwise we're going to have really serious, serious problems and massive loss of life. And that's the government scientists that are saying that. So that means we've probably got 18 months. So support Rupert Clare and Jessica. Join us at Extinction Rebellion and Writers Rebel in supporting and promoting these brave activists who have risked themselves as individuals for what should be the most uniting and collective of causes. Please support these three people who are brave enough to do something non-harmful, which called attention to the harm this organisation is doing. This is a message of support to the Tufton Three who are facing trial this month and to Writers Rebel and Extinction Rebellion for continuing to shine a light on climate denial and delay. Find out what happens at 55 Tufton Street, if you don't already know. Um, share these films, tweet, blog, protest, make a fuss, whatever you can think of, because we can't let the government frighten people out protesting. We must be able to raise our voices and scream as loudly as possible with each other and to those that are unaware that the work that is being done in that building is lies. The Tufton Street 3 have my full support and I hope they have your full support too. Solidarity and gratitude for what you've done. Good luck on the 28th of October. I and many others will be thinking of you. I stand absolutely with Jessica, with Rupert and with Claire. And I sincerely hope that you will too. The choice is very clear. It's a choice between the planet and powerful interests. Which one do you support?